Anyway, I thought I'd do this little video on my my crappy phone. Um, I don't want to go live at the moment. Uh, now, I was in in my previous streams. I was talking about the the way this works and um, how in the rested position it releases the steel ball bearing. Uh, let's get get rid of the ball bearing. It's just released. So in the neutral position, it releases the ball bearing. Now. As I was explaining previously, there's basically a toroidal in a horizontal plane, and in the middle we have another toroid in a, a vertical plane. And by adjusting the height of the toroid in the middle and versus the toroid around the in the horizontal, we can achieve um, a balance between attraction and repulsion. And so what I've decided to do is 3D print a bunch of uh, little slugs that will go down the middle and hold the the middle toroid so that I can adjust the height while it's actually running. And by doing that, I should be able to achieve um, a balance when this generator's running. I can uh, basically adjust a slug and adjust the amount of traction and repulsion to gain maximum speed versus maximum output. So anyway, well that's what I'm doing at the moment. I'm just printing these slugs things and um, uh, my ball bearings kind of decided to miss the middle. So let's just try and get that attracted. Uh, I need to get in the, you can get in the hole. In, uh, all right, missed again. Let me know. Come on. Oh, I just have to put it on my finger, I think. Anyway, so I don't know what it is, but every time I'm filming this thing, I can never get in the hole in the middle. Well, right, there we go. Anyway, so yeah, just a little update on what I'm doing at the moment, because um, I'm about ready to assemble a new one, the parts of it, some of the parts of it are over there, and I'm just printing some more um, magnet holders, I've got to take the support material off these, and get them ready to install, I've got another, actually I've got another, um, let's see, um, I've got another two to print really, at least, I think I'm probably just going to do a six coil, assembly for the next test really it just keeps everything simple plus I've got a bit of shaft I cut off a bit of dry shaft I cut off the other one because this one was a bit long so I'm just going to use this bit this sharp piece of dry shaft that way I don't have to dismantle anything and uh, I can build another one I've got bearings already installed in the um, in this new end I've got bows in there and then my and rather than building all the motor assembly again, I was going to use my universal joint and attach it to the end of this one and drive a second rotor assembly. And we'll see how this universal joint holds up, see if it flies apart or if it stays intact. It'll be interesting to drive, have both of them running and one running the other, you know what I mean? So anyway, that's uh, the robot vacuum woke up, um, driving me nuts. Anyway, so that's all for now.